Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, have you ever hated your boss? Like, have you ever had a boss that just like rubbed you the wrong way? Yeah. Yes, Joni. Yes. Yes. Why were they so bad? Were they just like a dick or what? Yeah. 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 You know, like things that bother me with people, I feel like are different than things that bother me with other people with people. Like, what's like a thing that you don't like when a person does, Jones? Give me, give me uh, that one thing. Talk to me like I'm stupid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Jonas does not like to be procrastinated. I'm That's smart. Not pro- don't make me, don't try to pretend like I'm not. What, what, not procrastinated. What do you call that? Patronized. You don't like, you don't like to be patronized. Now I respect that. I don't like to be patronized either. No, man. Like, mm-mm. It's, for some reason, Jonas, it, it, if a person doesn't show like, like social cues, it annoys me. To the point where I just I don't know Jonas like like what do you mean if they what like <sighs> they do or don't show social cues they don't understand social cues like like they come up and lick your earlobes <laughs> or something like what do you mean <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird like yeah. right wouldn't that piss yeah, you off I'd be mad <laughs> I'd be so pissed here comes Barb she's gonna come and suck up my earlobes again yeah I don't know it's hard to it's hard to like if a person can like just walk into a room and suck the vibe out of it like a you know like a beach ball through a hose just kind of like bothers me yeah I mean but regardless we've all had bosses we don't like right so uh in West Jefferson, Ohio, which I first I thought was near our hometown, but it's it's, comes, it's by Columbus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an Amazon wor- security guard uh, went in and attempted to uh, shoot his boss. What? And it was all caught on video. What? So I have not seen the video, but I know what happens in it. You haven't seen it either. I have not seen it, but I've, I've, I've. It's there's a description of it. Okay, so, I'm, I want to see it. Man. So, so we it. have it on. If you're wa- not watching on YouTube, I it? will try to talk talk through it. So, there's a man sitting at a desk, and he's in green, and a man has walked up behind him. He's about three foot away. The guy no. doesn't see him. He can't get the gun out of his pocket. Oh no! And then literally puts the gun about three foot from him. And it jams when he tries to fire. And then he fires and somehow misses him. How do you miss that? Oh, no. You're going to jail forever. Yes. And then what ended up happening is he he he, he went he drove away. And then when the cops pulled him over, he started shooting at the cops and they murdered him. So he's dead. Oh, so he gave up. Oh. Like he got out of the car and just started shooting. Like show that one more time. Like how like how close this man was to this man. He f- Yeah, I don't And like how you s- missed. somehow missed him. I don't understand how you And missed. and well here's the other thing. The gun clicked the first time and and jammed. He might have had the safety on. Yeah, but the guy didn't hear that. He waited for him to like discharge it and then shoot a second time. How <sighs> How lucky is that freaking boss? Bro, very. Extremely lucky. It's really unfortunate, though, that, man, I don't, I don't understand what a person could do to you to make you feel like you have to kill them. Like, yeah, like, I've hated some of my bosses, but never to the point that I wanted to kill them. Yeah. Oh, and then here's when he gets out of the car and just starts shooting at the cops. Oh, he did hit one cop. He didn't. He didn't take the car out of park either. Uh, drive, so it just kept moving. He just seems like he was not a well-adjusted man. He hit a cop. Oh no, that's that's embarrassing, dude. You yeah. can't go shooting cops too. Why would you do this? Yeah, I don't know, but uh. that that man, if he's not religious, the 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 guy who did not get shot from a two foot away bullet shot. Yeah. He needs to go to start talking to God or something because I yeah. like that is insane. Just how do you miss? That, how man? do you miss that? That's God looking out for you right there. That's, oh, absolutely. That's, like I don't so, care if you're religious or not. Somebody's looking out for him. Man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He had an angel and Anoki on his on his arm or something. Yeah, exactly. So Cinderella's there for him. Isn't that what it is? Cinderella and Cinderella. Cinderella. How does Cinder- What is Cinderella? How does she protect you from bullets? <laughs> 
I mean, right? I mean, See, if you vetted me on anything I ever say, Joel, I'm going to have an answer for you. How does Cinderella protect you from bullets? I'm asking if she does. I don't think so. Oh, okay. How would, an, how would an Anuaki protect you from bullets? Yeah, yeah that's well, it. Well, they're deities, Jonas. They're deities from the Mesopotamian <laughs> era, and they would be able to protect you from bullets because they have special powers. Jesus was considered one, actually. Oh, was he? What about Buddha? Yep. Oh, Definitely. He, oh, okay. Zeus, what about uh, Muhammad? Zeus? Uh, probably, but I'm not, you know, I'm not putting that on his, you can go ahead and talk about him. Oh, that's anything you want to get off about Mohammed while we're in, you, since we're on the tangent? You just mentioned his name too. You're in the boat. <laughs> yeah, you that's might. crazy, Joe. How do you shoot at somebody at your job? Knowing you're on camera is insane to me. Like you're on camera. Yeah. He worked though. So he just like swiped his badge, went in, just walked behind homeboy and just like stood behind him was going to execute him at his desk. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the video footage, I don't think it would go as viral as it has. Because I feel like there's definitely this is not the first time this has happened. You know, I feel like in a, in a few other, in other cases, it's probably led to the boss dying. It, is that not like the worst way to go? Like you're just sitting at your desk working, and like you're at work, and someone just murders you at work. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, oh, at least let me be in my house, like don't, where I yeah. like being. Kill me on my day off, man. Yeah, come to my house and do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't I, come to work while I'm working. I don't, I don't know. There's there's some poetic justice when you say, you know, clock out, you know? Right? Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know? With his Glock out? Yeah. I mean, nobody was hurt, so I feel like I can make these jokes. Like, clock right? out with his Glock out? Like that one? No, not quite. I wasn't trying to get there. I was just saying, you know, you oh. clock out because you, you, oh, like, you, the eternal punch card mm, gets punched, you know? Yeah. -ing, I'm out for the day, for right. the life. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking out from the living. What was the what was the uh, the uh, Looney Tunes dog? And there was a dog in oh, a, the. Oh, the red coyote. with his like the red. He had the the covered his eyes were covered. Yeah, he was the emo dog with the red eyes. I don't know his name, but it, he was like the. Uh... And he used to punch in every day. Be like, "How you doing, Gary?" <laughs> And then they try to kill each other the oh, entire time. Oh, Foghorn Leghorn. And, uh, well, that was one of them, too. But yeah, 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 yeah. There was one with a dog and a coyote. Yeah, I just remember yeah, that Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Dude, I just... I don't understand how you get so mad that you just, like... Because if you... That's what I'm saying, If you man. decide that, like... I don't know if you just don't understand that, like, your life is over... Like, you hate him so much that you want your own life to be over because you... Even if you, like... You don't go out with a, in a blaze of glory, like you know, murder by suicide with the cops. Mm -hmm. You're gonna you. It's on camera. You like murdering someone, or mm -hmm. in this case, attempted murdering. Well, I mean, it's very clear is that the gunman wasn't the smartest, and or he felt like his actions were justified, and that's where I kind of get into it. Is like all we saw was like a slice of life, a frame of like forty five seconds to a minute of like the worst decisions that this guy has ever made. What brought him to that position is what I'm interested yeah, in. What did that boss do? him every day at work. Did that, did, did that boss do something with his wife? Did that boss do something to his mom? Did he know that that boss had some stuff on his computer, on his hard drive that he shouldn't have? There's got, like, yeah. I mean, there's things he, leading yeah, up to it. Like, yeah, or he was like basically just like, picking on him all the time and it like pick pick picks like when you bully I mean, someone eventually like sometimes they snap that could be it too but like i'm saying it's like either way something led up to this and i'm not shooting the guy any bail because i never think that that's the proper reaction that you could take to any type of behavior right, right. yeah the there's last reaction should be i'm gonna take a gun to my job and shoot the guy yeah there's obviously better options than taking gun out trying to shoot him and then getting gunned down by the cops that's probably the worst option in that's all scenarios in all scenarios of all timelines but on the same note, what drove him to that point? What did this guy do that this guy acted like this? Now, if you're going to sit up here and tell me the guy just walked in and was like, no, nah, fuck, I'm going to kill him all after the day. And he just walked up, pulled a gun, I'm going to kill this dude right here. That's insane because nobody, nothing ever happens like that. You know, no. Occam's razors tell us is that actions get reactions. You know, that was a reaction to something that was actionable before. Now, I'm happy the guy's alive because that was a pussy way to go out or to try to take a person out, shooting them in the back while they're at work. Yo, you you need to get gunned down that, by the that's cops. Some, that, that's some low, that's some low blow. Like, but on the same yeah. note, man, what was his what was his side? I want to know his side. We'll never know because 
You he's know, in the, the clear. boss ain't going to be like, yeah, I used to pick on him all the time. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. know, dude. Wild. Maybe. But, of course, you know, working for Bezos, I guess. That's what it's Bezos. That, fault. God do damn it, Jeff. We didn't even take that angle the whole video, but you know, whatever. Jeff drove him to do it. <laughs> Jeff told him to do it. God damn, Jeff. Jeff trying to alleviate some cap space. Oh, Lord. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.